Hello students. Today we will start with a new chapter, the chapter number one of history, that is the rise of nationalism in Europe. In this chapter, we are going to see how the feeling of nationalism evolved into the people of Europe, and what were the factors that led to the rise of nationalism and creation of nation state in Europe. Chapter number one: the rise of nationalism in Europe. In this chapter, we are going to see that how the nationalism evoked in Europe. Before we start that, we will see one of the figures drawn by Frederick Soro. In 1848, Frederick Soro, French artist, prepared a series of prints visualizing his dream of a world made up of democratic and social republics. The first print of the series shows people of Europe and America, men and women, all of, of all ages and social classes, marching in a long train and offering homage to the Statue of Liberty as they pass by it. In this picture, a female figure was shown with a torch of enlightenment in one hand. And charter of the right of man in the other. On the earth, in the foreground of the image, lie the shattered remains of the symbols of absolutist institutions. In Soros' utopian opinion, people of the world were grouped as distinct nations, identified through their flags and national costumes. From the heaven above, Christ, saints, and angel gaze upon the scene. They have been used by the artist to symbolize the fraternity among the nations of the world. Leading the procession was way past the Statue of Liberty of the United States and Switzerland, which by this time was almost nation state. France, identifiable by the revolutionary tricolor, is being followed by German bearing the black, red, and gold flag. Following German people are the people of Austria, the Kingdom of Sicilies, Lombardy, Poland, England, Ireland, Hungary, and Russia. Nation state. It is one of it is one where majority of its citizens and not only its rulers come to develop a sense of common identity and shared history. Now we come to the French Revolution and the idea of nation. The French Revolutionary introduced various measures and practices that would create a sense of collective identity amongst the people of France. What were those identities? First thing is that the idea of la patrie, the fatherland, and le citoyen, the citizen, emphasized the nation of the united community. Enjoying equal rights under a constitution, a new French flag, the tricolor, was chosen to replace the former royal standard. The Estate General was renamed as the National Assembly. New hymns were composed, oaths taken, and martyrs commemorated, in all in the name of nation. A centralized administrative system was put in place, and it formulated uniform law. For all its citizens within its territory, internal custom duties and dues were abolished, and uniform system of weights and measures were adopted. Regional dialects were discouraged, and French became the common language of the nation. Civil Code, the Civil Code of 1804, also known as Lepelic Code, this code removed all privileges based on birth. Established equality before the law and secured the right to property. The feudal system was abolished in countries like Dutch Republic, Switzerland, Italy, and Germany. Peasants were free of serfdom and manual dues. Guild system was removed and transport and communication system improved. There were establishment of universal laws, standardized weights and measures. And common national currency. Peasants, artisans, workers, and new businessmen enjoyed a new found freedom. But the new administrative arrangements did not go hand in hand with, with political freedom. 
इंक्रीज टैक्सेशन सेंसरशिप फोर्स फोर्स कंस्क्रिप्शन इन टू द फ्रेंच आर्मीज रिक्वायर टू कॉन्कर द रेस्ट ऑफ यूरोप all seem to overweigh the advantage of the administrative changes now we come to next topic that is making of nationalism in europe what were the factors that led to the creation of nationalism into the minds of the people by mid 18th century europe there were no nation like today germany italy and switzerland were divided into kingdoms duchies cantons where ruler had their autonomous territories they did not share a collective identity or a common culture they spoke different languages and belonged to different ethnic groups the habsburg empire which ruled over austria hungary was a patchwork of different regions and people the only tie binding these diverse groups are together was a common dedication to the emperor even though there were many differences several factors led to the rise of nation state amongst them some important factors are first the rise of new middle class second the spread of ideology of liberalism third the new spirit of conservatism and the treaty of vienna and the last the rise of revolutionaries the aristocracy and the new middle class socially and politically a landed aristocracy was the dominant class in the continent they owned estates and property both in countryside and town houses they spoke french and their families were connected by ties of marriage as they were small in number the majority of population were peasants in west most of the land was owned by tenants and small owners but in eastern and central europe there were vast estates and land was cultivated by serfs in western and central parts of europe there was a emergence of commercial class whose existence was based on production for market industrialization began in england in second half of 18th century in france germany in late 19th century due to industrialization a new social group rose that is a working class population and middle class made up of industrialists businessmen professionals into being it was among all the educated liberals middle class the idea of national unity follow following followed the above following following by abolition of aristocratic privileges gained popularity what did liberal nation stand for idea of national unity in the early 19th century europe were closely related to the ideology of liberalism for the new middle classes liberalism stood for freedom for the individual and equality of all before the law there were throughout the 19th century and early 20th century movements demanding equal political rights that is universal suffrage or the right to vote in france men without properties and women were excluded from this right in the economic sphere liberalism stood for freedom of market and abolition of state imposed restriction on the movement of goods and capital hence in 1834 a custom union or zollverein was formed at the initiative of prussia and joined by most of the german states The union abolished tariff barriers and reduced the number of currencies from over 30 to 2. What is L? L. It was a measure of cloth which was in each which in region of Europe stood for a different length. A new conservatism after 1850. After defeat of Napoleon in 1850, European governments were driven by the spirit of conservatism. Conservatives believe that established traditional institution of state and society like the monarchy the church social hierarchies property and family should be preserved the european powers like britain russia prussia and austria who had collectively defeated napoleon met at vienna to draw up a settlement for europe 
The Congress was hosted by the Austrian Chancellor Duke Metternich and they drew up the Treaty of Vienna in 1850. What were the major points of the Treaty of Vienna? First, the Bonaparte dynasty which had been deposed during the French Revolution was restored to power. France lost the territories and it was annexed which was it had annexed under Napoleon. A series of states were set up on the boundaries of France to prevent its expansion in future. Thus, the Kingdom of Netherlands, which included Belgium, was set up in the north. Genoa was added to Piedmont in the south. Prussia was given important new territories on its western frontiers, while Austria was given control of North Italy. German Federation of 39 states that had been set up by Napoleon was left untouched. In the east, Russia was given part of Poland, while Prussia was given portion of Saxony. The main intention of Congress was to restore the monarchies that had been overthrown by Napoleon and create a new conservative order in Europe. Conservative regimes set up in 1815 were autocratic. Most of them imposed censorship laws to control what was said in newspaper, books, plays and songs and reflected the ideas of liberty and freedom associated with the French Revolution. Now we come to the revolutionaries. During the year following 1815, the fear of repression drove many liberal nationalists underground. Main objectives of the revolutionary were to oppose monarchical form that had been established after the Vienna Congress and fight for liberty and freedom. Most of these revolutionaries saw the creation of nation state a necessary part of the struggle for freedom. That's all for today. Again, when we are going to start the lesson, we are going to start with the famous revolutionary that is Giuseppe Mazzini, followed by the event that took place till 1830.